The TUF says government has learned its lesson and knows that the Federation is a force to be reckoned with. The Federation demanded its members' salary increases and staged seek-outs, protests and marches with threats to heighten industrial action if government refused to make them a reasonable offer. As workers stayed off the job, both parties seemed unrelenting. But it was the government who eventually budged on its offer. Julian Monroe says members made it clear they would not tolerate any form of disrespect from government. Most of the members who spoke, they, were not, they did not address the 4.125%. They addressed the fact that they're confident that no government would take that kind of stance again, that no government would attempt to disrespect public sector workers you know, the way that it um, was done. It's business as usual at all government offices. Not so at schools like Carmen Rennie, where administrators reported that teachers signed in but never stepped foot in their classrooms. Monroe says the employees endorsed government's proposal and were eager to return to their jobs. He says staying off the jobs was a necessary measure, as members had a point to prove to government. They were uh, very excited about going back to work. You see, because the members were not out because they didn't want to work. They were out because they felt that they had been unfair, that the, the, the government had disrespected them, and they wanted to make the point. And they wanted to stand firm. Now that it had been resolved, they, they wanted to go back to work. And we saw it very clearly yesterday. Monroe has also allayed any fears that money will be removed from the salaries of workers who stayed away from the job as part of the industrial protest. The TUF leader says government is prohibited from doing so as part of Thursday's six-part agreement. We, we were very clear on that. The meeting agreed that our members will not be adversely affected in any way as a result of the protest action. The TUF is now celebrating what it says is a victory. Monroe says members have sounded the call and never again will a government make a promise to workers and cancel at the last minute. He says St. Lucia's public servants have made it clear such action will not be tolerated. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.